What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to share how you can create a procedural cinematic lens crunch effect instead of Adobe After Effects that's driven by a basic Luma Matte. This effect is super simple, and even if you aren't familiar with it, you've probably unknowingly seen it in visual effects in big Hollywood movies, in addition to video game cinematics and gameplay. Now, some people may argue that this effect is overdone. However, if you want to add a stylistic or grungy look for your film or CG renders, you can add a little bit of this effect and see if you like the result it creates for you. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. Here we are inside of After Effects. Now for this tutorial, we're going to be working with a few different source files. So if you're going to follow along, you'll need a few different things here. The first source file we have is our live action piece of footage, or if you want to use a CG render of your choice, you can also do that. And I've chosen a piece of footage that has a fair bit of contrast because we're actually going to be using the bright parts of this image to drive where that lens grunge shows up. So this specific lens grunge effect will actually be more prevalent in footage where we have a fair bit of contrast. So I've gone ahead and chosen a nice cinematic moody piece of footage here, and we're going to be adding this lens grunge to it. The second thing that you'll need for this tutorial is a lens dirt or grunge texture. I've downloaded a variety of them here. Essentially all you need for this lens dirt texture is a texture with some grunge on it with a black background. So you can use a droplet texture like these shot on black so we can overlay it in screen mode or you can also use a scratches texture like this one right here. It's sort of up to the type of effect that you're trying to overlay on top of the bright spots of your footage. So without further ado, let's get started instead of After Effects. Once you have those elements, you can import them into your scene here. And I'll go ahead and just grab our live action footage here and drag it to create a new composition so we can start from scratch. And we'll relabel our footage here. We'll call it live action shot. And now we'll go ahead and drag our lens dirt over our footage and we can choose any of our lens dirt effects here. I'll go ahead and use the scratches texture for the sake of this tutorial. And we'll overlay this on top of our footage. We'll scale it down a bit to fit our background. And since we want to take out the black and just overlay the brighter portions of this scratch texture on top of our live action footage, we'll switch the blend mode to screen. And now you can see we've just overlaid this on top of our footage. Now, obviously we don't want the scratches where our letterbox is. So to deal with that, we'll just add a new solid. So I'll go to layer, new, solid, and we'll call this letterbox. And go ahead and disable this for a second and we'll click on the rectangle tool and we'll just drag a mask to create a letterbox over our footage and we'll switch the mask mode to subtract and then we'll turn this back on and now you can see we've created a letterbox over our scratch texture as well now obviously overlaying this scratch element just on top of your footage is not going to seem very realistic because it's not very photographically accurate what we want to do in this case is actually use the bright parts of our live action shot to tell After Effects where we want the scratch texture to show up on our image. So to do that, we're going to use a Luma Matte on our lens dirt texture that's driven by our live action shot. So I'll go ahead and select our live action shot here. I'll press Command D, duplicate that. We'll grab this guy and put it on top of our lens dirt texture. And then we'll select our lens dirt texture and we'll change the track matte to Luma Matte of our live action shot too. And now you can see we're overlaying our lens dirt in a little bit more procedural way. Now, how this is working is it's taking the bright values of our live action shot and telling the lens dirt to show up where those brighter values are. So white is going to tell After Effects to make the lens dirt show up completely. And then as it gets darker, that lens dirt will show up less. Now we want to actually accent where the scratches show up. So we actually don't want it to show up that much in this dark area. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our top live action shot here that we're going to use to drive our lens dirt and we'll rename it here. We'll call it live action shot for Luma Matte. Okay. And we'll select this here and then I'm just going to first go to effect, go to color correction and then add a tint effect and we'll just enable it here by itself just to get an idea of what we're using to drive our dirt scratches. So we've added a tint effect. Now we want to increase the contrast of this image. So I'll go to effect, color correction, and I'm just going to add a curves effect and we'll increase the contrast of our image a bit to something like this. And now, as you can see here already, if we turn this off, our grunge is showing up based on that matte and it's looking a little bit better. You can see if we enable our grunge effect, what our effect is looking like without our live action shot in the scene. So we're using that Luma data to drive our dirt texture. Now, one thing I want to do is add a little bit of grime to our Luma mat. So we'll go to our live action shot that we're using to drive our Luma mat once more. And I'm actually going to add some blur effects to it. So I'll go to effect, blur and sharpen. We'll add a camera lens blur. I might just increase this to maybe 10. 
just to give it a little bit of grime. And then also we want to go to our lens dirt element and blur this texture as well. So we'll go to effect, blur and sharpen, camera lens blur, and then increase the sky to maybe 10. Just show it's not so sharp. And then I also want it to show up a little bit more. So I might just add a curves effect to our scratches as well. Then just increase the contrast a bit. And then we can just play around with the amount of blur that we want on our scratches. So we could try maybe 20. 20 is looking a little bit better here. Maybe we do just 15. And you can see what this is doing if we enable it by itself. We're getting something like this, which is quite nice. One thing I want to do is I want to actually have our scratches bleed a little bit more into our character. So to do that, I'll just adjust our mat once more. So I'll go to our Luma mat here, enable it in view mode, and then I'll go to effect and then blur and sharpen. And this time we're going to add a directional blur. We're going to make it go sideways here. So I'll just rotate this down. I actually might bring this directional blur all the way up to the top here. So we'll add this here. We'll increase the blur length to quite a bit, maybe something like 50. And then maybe we'll dial back the camera lens blur to five. And then now if we go back into our viewing mode, you can see it should bleed over a bit. So I'll probably increase that a little bit more. And we can also increase the contrast on our Luma mat as well. And at this point, it's just a matter of playing around with the different effects you have on these two layers. So you could either play around with how much the lens dirt shows up with the Luma mat of your live action footage. So we could, you know, make sure it only shows up in the bright areas like this. Maybe we want to increase the directional blur a bit more so that bleeds in a little bit. And then we can also, again, play around with the actual texture on the lens dirt itself. You can really accent it if you wanna make it super bright. And yeah, again, you can see it by itself just like this. You can see what our lens dirt effect is overlaying on top of our footage like this. Just a nice layer of grime. Now, obviously it doesn't have to be this much. I'm obviously overdoing it for the sake of this tutorial, but you can make this obviously more subtle by dialing back the lens dirt data. But yeah, that's how you can add some grime to your lens. Now, obviously we can easily change the texture that we're overlaying very easily for this effect. We can just, you know, go to our project, find a different texture. Maybe we'll try this guy right here. Let's put this guy, make it in screen mode, and then we'll make this a luma mat then turn our lens dirt off. And this one's a little bit more subtle, I think, than our scratches one. It is a little bit big here. So we can bring this down. But now this is a little bit more of a traditional one here. You can see this one's looking nice as well. It's like there's some water on the lens. You can see if we enable it by itself, we're still using that same Luma matte data from our live action shot to drive this effect as well. So this is a really nice way you can add some grime or grunge to your live action shots or CG renders. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.